Jeep Fest is this weekend, but the Toledo History Museum is getting in on the action a day early. So as we look forward to the fest, let's stop and take a look back. Here are five fun facts about Jeep through history. First, Jeep really has become synonymous with adventure, but when it first started, there was a lot more at stake. Jeep actually delivered the very first prototype for World War II ally use with its big reveal on Armistice Day. 135 manufacturers were called in for designs, but the Army only heard back from three, including Willis Overlin. Thus, the quad was born, which was the first Jeep ever built. And did you know a Jeep was awarded a Purple Heart? Now, usually this goes out to people, but the Purple Heart was given to a Jeep called Old Faithful after it was sent home during World War II. Scripps Howard World War II reporter Ernie Pyle said, quote, It did everything. It went everywhere. It was as faithful as a dog, as strong as a mule, and as agile as a goat. It constantly carried twice what it was designed for and still kept going. And the M38 Jeep was a bit of a TV star. MASH featured the M38, which was the first that could entirely be submerged underwater. If you watched the show, you probably saw officers driving an M38, but it was also used by the character Radar. Honestly, the show just couldn't get enough of it, and the M38 Jeep was a part of just about every episode. And did you know Jeep has a bit of a history with hockey? For about 15 years between 1949 and 64, Zambonis were built using either a full Jeep or a Jeep chassis. The move sliced the time it took to resurface by a third. The funny thing is, the only reason the whole thing came about was because Popular Science Magazine asked its readers to send in creative uses for Jeep in return for a cash prize. And the next time you tailgate before a big game, you better think Jeep before firing up that grill. The whole phrase tailgate party started with Jeep's station wagon. The 46 wagon had a fold down tailgate that people would use for picnics and other fun outdoor parties. The station wagon would later become the Grand Cherokee, which was the first to have a unibody frame for a car that has four wheel drive. For more information on Jeep Fest, just head over to our website, WTOL.com and click on Go419. In downtown Toledo, I'm Jensen Strock.